So, school's starting again, and I know we're all gonna have issues, so let me tell you, I've got a way for you to, uh, bypass all of those lockdown browsers and, uh, let's not say cheat, but cheat on all of your online tests. If you're wondering how we're gonna do this, I'm gonna tell you. It starts with Arch and ends with VM. Figured it out yet? It's in, it's, it's probably in the title, are you blind? Today, me and my little idiot self are going to try and attempt to uh, install Arch Linux on one of my many disposable pieces of uh, technology and uh, run KVM on it. So uh, if you're interested in a fucking cheating, let's see how this goes. All right, quick, easy, and simple. Once you have that ISO, you're going to uh, plug that USB into your computer, hop into the BIOS. Once you hop into the BIOS, you're then gonna change the boot order so it boots off the USB first. And once that's done, you're gonna go into the Arch, little, little Arch Linux screen or whatever Linux you're installing, if that, and you're gonna set it up through a relatively normal uh, setup screen. If you're going through Arch, you're probably gonna wanna use OuchFi, uh, just a little W get out by and uh, you'll be rolling all right so you got that part feeling pretty good about yourself I hope you are because it just keeps getting worse now I know that uh, you watched a little bit of the arch install but I also know that I should tone it down for uh, the ones that can't get it through their brain so I'll, I'll show you the easy way of how to uh, do everything I did in about uh, six hours. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a quick uh, Manjaro install and then we'll get right into KVM. Now Manjaro is stupid simple. Just go to the website. Once you're on the website, go to the downloads. And once you're in the downloads, you're gonna wanna download the KDE version. Why not the XFCE? Why not the GNOME? Uh, no, just do KDE. Why? Because uh, I, I, I don't know. Just do KDE once that's going. You're gonna wanna plug that bad boy into your computer like uh, we already did and then just follow the installation uh, process like we uh, already did. And now that you're caught up, we can finally move into the other things. Oh, and if it wasn't already obvious enough, other things, I'm talking about virtualization, which was the whole point of this entire video, was to be able to virtualize Windows in order to uh, bypass a lockdown browser, so uh, let's just hope uh, you're sort of sticking with me here. Uh, we're trying to move uh, probably as fast as I possibly could with this. Now I'm going to need you to open the terminal. We're just going to go through a few of the commands that we're going to need to throw in there. Uh, sudo pacman sqemu libvirt ovmf vert uh, dash manager. Those are going to be the packages we're going to be using. Next is sudo systemctl start libvirt d dot service. Now this is where things start getting a little bit confusing, but you're also going to uh, do that same thing, but change it to enable. Now if I'm not mistaken, this is just going to make it so you never have to go into the prompt again in order to open open the software, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm starting to get a little confused, and you're confused, but that's okay. Next, we just mess around in the terminal a little bit longer, and then uh, I think everything's installed. Once we have everything installed, we are now going to open up Virtual Machine Manager and start the tedious process of installing Windows once again. Now, you might be thinking, why would we go through the entire process of deleting Windows only to reinstall Windows in the VM? Now, that's an easy answer. It's because we're just putting it in its own little safe space. Uh, think of it as a prison on the computer, and uh, now it can't get out and nothing within it can get out. And I could walk you through the entire process uh, of installing the uh, Windows in the VM, but I could also... So, that's all there is to it. You want to get through all those lockdown browsers, all that scary stuff out there on the internet? Well, now you can. Now, you might be sitting here thinking, this idiot didn't tell me anything he said he was going to. Well, joke's on you. This is not a tutorial. This is just me doing an Arch install. And what better way to uh, justify doing it than showing the world and conning others while doing it? Anyway, let's go back to that other idiot, shall we? Would I advise doing it this way? All right, real talk. This is the worst possible way 
of attempting to uh, cheat any sort of anything. We're talking lockdown browsers, we're talking anti-cheat, we're talking, like, it's just awful. Unplug your webcam and say you don't have one. So, what would I recommend this for? You want to learn a new operating system? Great, you're a security freak. Even better. That's about it. So, how about you subscribe and next time I'll teach you how to cheat on your significant other. That'll be a fun time, won't it? Well, I'll see you guys later. No, but really, who who wrote this? It wasn't me, because uh, you just use a different phone and don't tell them about it. It's easy, it doesn't need a video. Goddamn idiots.